once again, your chef, Chef Rini. I'm here tonight to teach you how to prepare ceramics. I have a lot of ceramics that I prepare from various cereals that you can think of, like rice, granules, soya bean, wheat, beans, maize, millet, etc. etc. So today I'm going to teach you how to prepare just one kind of ceramics. These ceramics are so nutritious that it is good for babies who are being weaned and even the aged. It is good also for breakfast and it's, it's, it goes down well with any age group. So we'll move on straight away to what I'm about to teach you today. Preparation of ceramics. Selection of cereals and soybeans are very important. So I'm going to show you the cereals we are going to use in today's ceramics. The first cereal is maize. You need to select good quality grains which have no weevils in it. We are using black eye bean in today's ceramics. So you have to select good quality beans so that the quality of your ceramics will be up to standard. The next ingredient we are using is soya bean. Soya bean is very important in the preparation of ceramics because it adds a milky taste to the ceramics. We have selected a very good quality of soya bean which I'm going to include in today's ceramics. The next one is granules. These are granules. They are of good quality. There are no holes in it, no weevils in it. We are going to include this one too in the preparation of our ceramics. So today, these are the four main ingredients we are going to use in the preparation of our ceramics. It's just one set of ingredients that we are going to use today. The maize, the black eye bean, the soya bean, and the granites. So at this point, we are moving on straight away to the preparation point. Whenever you want to prepare your ceramics, you need a heavy saucepan to roast all the cereals. So I have my saucepan on the fire. I'm, I'm lighting the fire. You wait for about 10 or 15 minutes for the pan to heat up before you put your cereal in it. After 10 minutes, I'm very sure my saucepan is very hot. So I'll roast my first cereal, which is the maize. So I'll pour it into my saucepan and begin to roast. You have to stir continuously to prevent the cereal from getting burnt. Whenever your cereal gets burnt, it brings a sour taste to your ceramic. So make sure your cereal does not get burnt. Continue stirring so it gets to a golden brown color. It takes 10 minutes to roast the maize. The soya bean also takes 15 minutes to get ready. The black eye bean will take 10 minutes to be roasted. The granites will take 15 minutes also to get ready. You need all to be golden brown so that your ceramics will come out with good quality. Remember to roast them separately because they all have different cooking times. When they are all ready in a golden brown color, you will put all together in a bowl. You will have a bowl like this. Then first of all, you will pour your main into it. Then followed by your beans. Then the soya bean. Then the granite. Mix it together in the bowl. Mix all together. Mix it very well. Mix all your cereals together in a bowl. Make sure they are well mixed. After that, you mill it into a fine flour. Make sure it is well milled. 
This is what I get after mailing my cereals together. I have a very nice cereal mix with a nice golden brown color. This cereal mix is good for both adults and children. It has so many good nutritional value, which is good for the human body. Thank you for watching today. This is what we have today. It has always been your favorite chef, Chef Rini. See you another time in our next episode. Bye.